वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू माई सेशन ऑन फॉर्मल लेटर्स इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर और सेशन आई हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ राइटिंग फॉर्मल लेटर्स आई हैड टोल्ड यू अबाउट डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ लेटर्स फॉर्मल इन फॉर्मल देन हाउ फॉर्मल लेटर इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू बिजनेस लेटर्स ऑफिशियल लेटर्स ऑफिशियल लेटर्स फर्दर बींग कैटेगराइज सो इन माई टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी फोकसिंग ओनली ऑन the various types of formal letters formal letters as you know are further divided into two parts one is your business letter and another one is your official letters official letters consist of letter to the editor letter of inquiry letter of complaint and applications and business letter consist of letter for placing order and letter for supply now for class 10 we have only four types of letter in our syllabus one is letter to editor letter of inquiry letter of complaint and letter for placing order applications are not there and letter for supply is also not there so let's focus on these four types of letters so first we are going to take into consideration letter to the editor you must have done this in class 8 or 9 also so these letters are written to the editor of the newspaper for to be asked to be published in the editorial column of the newspaper now students you need to understand the purpose of writing this letter the purpose of writing this letter is you want to draw the attention of the people and the concerned authorities towards the problem or the issue highlighted in your letter usually what i found is the children they write to the editor at the end in the concluding paragraph that i request you to please solve my problem or solve this issue no the editor is not going to solve your problem or the issue the editor is only going to give space to your opinion and the views in the editorial column of the newspaper so that it reaches far and wide or it comes to the notice of the people this is the purpose that you people are writing the letter to the editor rest the format is the same and all those rules which i had mentioned in my previous video regarding this how to write the formal letters that needs to be obeyed so we have sender sender's first we have date we have a receiver's address that will be to the editor i have given the examples i had given the perfect way the right way in which it is to be written i had also given i had also shared the rules regarding writing subject all those things needs to be adhered to in case of letter to the editor also not only letter to the editor in all the letters the formal letters so we have a question over here students and for these letters this formal letters and the questions i have been referring to a book by oswell this is cbsc question bank by oswell so if you want you can you may also refer to most of the questions and the letters have been picked up from this book so let's proceed further so this question you are prabhu kumar oblique parvati of 17e ravidas road kochi write a letter in 100 to 120 words to the editor of a newspaper about the nuisance caused by loudspeakers in the city during examination draw attention of the concerned authorities to the problem so there are certain value points which are given and you are required to use this value points while writing the letter so here is a slide students in which i have written the letter i have slightly made some changes to the original letter which is given in the book so that the things become clear to you and you can go through them see the way sender's address date receiver's address subject is written students regarding subject i have already mentioned students that subject should not be lengthy it should be maximum 5 to 7 words the first letter of the word of each word of the subject needs to be capital as you can see over here nuisance n is capital cause c is capital l of loud is capital s of speaker is capital and then e of examination is capital then again you uh, focus or you just have a look at yours y o u r s there is no apostrophe s again this is a basic mistake which the students make so your this is a slide for the second letter to the editor please go through it in my previous letter i had left 
no space between the sender's address and date. In this letter, I have left a space after the sender's address, date, again a space. Just to tell you all that both the methods are correct. Rest, the format is same. Now, the second letter. The second letter is letter of inquiry. Where you are asking, you are seeking some information to the person whom you are writing the letter. So the question, you are Tripti, head girl class 11A of Guru Nanak Girls Senior Secondary School, Kanpur. Write a letter to Dimple Caterers, Mutezil in Clave, Kanpur to find out the rate of conducting the 12th standard farewell party. Inquiring about catering, charges per head, service charges and advance to be paid. Word limit is 100 220 words. Students, in this type of inquiry letters, the very important point is when you are inquiring about information, these informations can be put up in the middle part, that is your body of the letter in the form of bullets. In this letter, I have not used the bullets seeking the information, but you can see my next letter on the same inquiry letter, I have used bullets. Let's see the next question. You are Naveen of, of 43, Ramnagar, Mirat. You, you wish to join NDA coaching classes. Write a letter to the director Akash Classes Kota inquiring about the coaching classes for NDA examination. Ask for all necessary details in 100 to 120 words. Now you see house number 43, Ramnagar, Mirat, 26 June, 20 XX. XX stands for the year in which you are writing the letter. The director Akash Classes, Jaipur Road, Kota. Subject, inquiry about the coaching for NDA. Sir, I have just passed class 12 and now want to join NDA. I have come to know that your institution gives coaching to qualify the admission test for NDA. I would like to join the same. Kindly furnish me with the following details. So this is what I was talking about, student. This is the bullet points I've added, okay? The duration of the course, the fees and mode of payment, the qualification to join the course, if any, then hostel facility, teacher-student ratio, transportation facility, etc. This is very important and this is highly mark-fetching as far as letter of inquiry is concerned. So whatever the information you are asking, so please try to pull them in the bullets so that it, bec it becomes clear and it stands out in the letter. If you have any printed material or brochure on the same, kindly send it to me on the above address. Thanking you, yours sincerely, Naveen. Now students, the next letter, the third letter is letter of complaint. As I had mentioned earlier also, there are two types. One you can write about the goods, the products and the other one is about the services. Okay. So let's see the first topic and this I have given that you bought a flat at Ganpati Apartments, Mathura, but within a period of two months, you have started facing a lot of problems like seepage in the walls and ceilings, leaking sanitary fittings, lift getting stalled, etc. Write a letter of complaint in 100-250 words. To works manager, PQR, builders, sector 59, Mathura, you are Nidhi or Nitesh. Now you see, the way I have written the letter, students, same, sender's address is there, date is there, the works manager, PQR, builders, sector 59, Mathura, subject again, complaint C capital, R, regarding R capital, flat F capital, okay. Then sir, to, through this letter of mine, I would like to inform you that I had brought a, sorry, not brought, bought a flat in the month of February from PQR Builders at Ganpati Apartments. But I am very disappointed that the quality that you had promised had not been delivered. This is the introductory paragraph. Then come down to the body. In the body of the paragraph, you are going to discuss about all the problems which we had mentioned in the questions. Okay. So let's see what they are telling. Within the two months of occupation of the flat, we have started facing a lot of problems. There is seepage in the walls and ceilings. The wall paint is peeling off and even the sanitary fittings are leaking. But the greatest inconvenience is caused because of the lift. It gets stalled every now and then and we, especially the senior citizens, have to face a lot of problems. We did not expect this kind of services. This is the concluding paragraph. From a renowned builder like you, kindly look into the matter and do the needful at the earliest. Yours truly. Nitesh resident. I told you, in complaint letters for goods and products, we need not write thanking you. So, second one, I am writing to the store manager 
and this is about the faulty electric iron okay the question is as such you are ravi oblique ravina of 656 rose avenue lakhim nagar lucknow you brought you bought an electric iron from mrs pooja electricals halwasia market rakabganj lucknow within 2 months of his purchase you found that the product is faulty and is not functioning properly write a letter of complaint to the store manager of mrs pooja electricals asking for the replacement at their cost word limit is 100 to 150 words now you see students same it is sender's address house number 656 rose avenue lakhim nagar lucknow april 24 2020 The store manager, Pooja Electricals, Halwasia Market, Rakabganj, Lucknow. Subject again, you see, C of complaint capital for defective D capital E electric capital I iron capital. So, now you students, in this letter you need to pay attention, and this first two three lines you can learn it and keep it, and can be used and reused again and again for the various products like washing machine, iron, musical instruments, mobile, computer, etc. So let's see what I've written. through this letter of mine i wish to inform you that one electric iron of model x620 of philip company was purchased from your shop wide receipt number aay 2020 dated 24th february 2020 students here once again i repeat you need to mention about the product definitely we are going to tell suppose i have i purchased a laptop now you need to mention which company which brand suppose it is lenovo or what model you purchased then wide which receipt number so this with this word called vide wide wide is also very important these are the technical terms which you need to learn and write it down and uh, mug hard we say that learn it by heart so that you can be using it again and again for the various types of complaint letters for the products okay so once again i say i repeat this through this letter of mine i wish to inform you that one electric iron of model xx20 of philip company was purchased from your shop white v i d e white receipt number a a y 2020 dated 24th uh, sorry february 2020 now this receipt number i put up a fictitious one you can also put up a fictitious one with regret i would like to say that within 2 months of his purchase the iron is not functioning properly now this is the middle part of the letter okay the body of the letter here i have to discuss the problems So I repeat once again. With regret, I would like to say that within two months of his purchase, the iron is not functioning properly. His steamer and thermostat is not working properly, due to which I have burnt my clothes. Sometimes sparks are seen in the internal filament of the iron, which makes it risky to use. Students, and this is the body of the letter, the middle part of the letter. Now, in this one, don't give too many complaints or too many problems. Usually, stick to two or three. Do not go beyond three uh, problems. Okay. Then the last paragraph. since the product is within the warranty period i request you to get it replaced as soon as possible i will be thankful if the matter can be attended to at the earliest yours truly ravi and i told you we need not write thanking you now here as i had mentioned in my previous lecture also on basics of letter writing the ps and enclosures the short form for enclosure is e n c l s if it is more than 2 and e n c l if it is one that is n e n c l stands for enclosure and e n c l s stands for enclosures so since i have mentioned about warranty i have mentioned about receipt then i need to send the photocopy of the same so along with this letter i am enclosing these two documents so number 1 copy of the warranty card number 2 copy of the receipt so next in continuation is letter of complaints for services now this is slightly different how from the previous one in this letter okay let me read the question first you are mahima mahim of 37 rajnagar jaipur write a letter to the general manager jtc that is jaipur transport corporation complaining about inadequate bus service in your area and requesting him to take urgent steps in the matter word limit is 100 to 150 words let's see now same sender address will remain same house number 37 rajnagar jaipur no commas nothing 22nd april 2020 then general the general manager jaipur transport corporation jaipur subject poor bus service p of poor capital b of bus capital s of service capital sir this is to inform you that in our area that is rajnagar the bus service is very poor very few buses ply through our area which creates a lot of inconvenience to the people the area is bit away and the resident need to go to every part of the city 
Therefore, you are requested to arrange more buses in this area so that the people do not face the problem of transportation. I hope you will, this is the last concluding paragraph, I hope you will take some action and do the needful as soon as possible. Here I have added thanking you because here we are addressing to the person who is going to help us, who is going to solve a problem. Okay, So that is what we are using the word thank you, thanking you or thank you and then yours truly and the name. This brings us to the last type of the letter which we have. That is your letter for placing order. It comes under the category of business letters under the formal letter category. So the question is you are Ram Oblig Ramya, the librarian of Delhi Public School Merit, write a letter to Oxford University Press, Ghaziabad, placing an order for books. Mention at least four titles of the books to be supplied immediately. Word limit is same, 100 to 150 words. Students, in this steps of letter, there is one table which will be the integral part of the body of the letter. And this carries marks and this makes the letter highly mark fetching. So let's see, Delhi Public School, center's address is Delhi Public School, bypass road, Mathura, sorry, Merit. And then date, 2nd October 20XX. The manager, Mrs. Oxford University Press, Civil Lines, Ghaziabad. Then subject is supply of books for the school library. So, through this letter, we wish to place a bulk order for the supply of books to our school library. The list of books with their particular is attached herewith. That's the reason I said so, students, in the letter to the editor, this part, that is your second part, the middle part of the letter, you need to explain the problem or the issues you need to discuss. Same is with the case of letter of complaint, you need to discuss. Same is in case of inquiry. Inquiry letter also, the body is very easy because we need to give the information uh, the, in the form of bullet points. Hence, that is also highly marked for you. Now, coming down to this letter for uh, placing order also, we need to insert a table, very neatly draw a table. Usually, it will consist of uh, four columns and maybe uh, five or six rows in which the first column will have the serial number and the second column will have the name of the particular, the books, the musical instrument, the scientific instruments, etc. And the third will have the brand, the suppose in case of books, it is having the name of the author or the publishers. In case of, uh, suppose you are asking for sports equipments, I have got one more letter for that also. Suppose you are asking for musical instruments, it will consist of the brand name and then definitely the quantity, how many you need. Okay, so just have a look at the table which I have given over here. This is very important and you need to draw it very neatly using the ruler and the pencil. So, serial number, names of the books, authors and publishers, authors or publishers and quantity. So, number one, History of India by L. Prashad, Prashad Bansilal, quantity is 20. Number two, Modern Trigonometry, Bansilal and the quantity is 30. Third book, Modern Algebra by S.K. Sain, 25. Fourth, The New Atlas of the World, Frank Brothers, 30. Then, fifth is Wonders of India by Bhishm, 15. 15 is a quantity. Sixth, India wins freedom, M, A, Q, Azad and the quantity is 10. Now the concluding part, okay, just immediately after the table, you need to write this few sentence. This is again stereotype. This will keep on coming or this you have to write down in all the letters for placing order. We shall not settle for less than 20% discount on the purchase of the books. Beside, we request you to give another 5% special discount that is usually granted to the institutional buyers. It goes without saying that you will have to bear the mail and other expenses involved in the dispatch and delivery of the books. Now concluding, the above books must reach us in proper condition and order not later than 25th November if our terms and conditions are acceptable to you. You can also add a sentence over here that the payment will be made through check and in my next letter I have added one more sentence that in case of any damage to the goods during the transit or once you receive the package and once you find that anything is damaged, that things will be returned back to the supplier at their own cost. Okay. Then we are thanking you, yours truly, Raman, library in charge. Rest format remains the same. So students, which I was talking about, the next letter is that you are the sports in charge, sports instruction, instructor and on the request of the principal, you are uh, writing to the sales manager, uh, that is Mrs. City Sports. 
Jalander and you are asking for some sports equipments for the school. Okay. Same, it is center's address, date, receiver's address, subject. Then we have the opening sentence through this letter of mine. Our school wants to place a bulk order for the supply of the sports equipment. Then, as I told you, this is the USP or this is a very important part, integral part of the letter. The list of the particulars are as below. Same, you see the table I've done, four columns, serial number, names of the sport, name of the sports item, brand, quantity. We can very well see how I have given the brand. Now, students, while giving the brand, you need to pay attention. Okay, the common mistake which I found is uh, with the children that do not use the brand names at your will. Yes, that reminds me very well, and I really need to discuss this with you. What happens over here, students, is for example, like all of us, many of us, not all of us, many of us may not be knowing. Like which brand hockey sticks is made by which brand or tennis racket is made by which brand. Okay. Now let's take the example of this hockey sticks. Okay. Now hockey sticks definitely you cannot uh, the brand name is to be put up. Quantity as you can put up as you wish. That is do not put up the quantity like thousands and something like that. You can only put up some reasonable quantity also needs to be put up because there also we may deduct marks over there. Okay. That will be coming under accuracy part. Now, as far as brand, brand is concerned, so students, so hockey sticks, now I cannot say that hockey sticks will be uh, made by Britannia, okay, or hockey sticks will be made by a company like Lux, whereas we know that Britannia company is famous for making biscuits, then Lux is a company which makes soap, so you need to be prudent and wise while selecting the brand, so the mismatch of the brand is not permissible so this will go in accuracy and definitely will make you a, a laughing stock and uh, it will not be appreciated also so be very wise now the question comes like if you do not know the brand and the question comes what to do now so instead of putting a renowned brand name for example in this case also let's take up hockey sticks and i do not know which company makes this hockey sticks so what to do, what to put up in the column of that uh, brand, put up XYZ, put up PQR, put up any unknown, like uh, you can put up ABC, okay, XXX, YYY, so that the person who is checking your answer sheet comes to know that the person or the child or the student is not aware of the band, that's okay. But mismatch of the band, you know, the popular bands, brands which we are all aware about, all are aware about these popular brands and if you put up this popular brands against the item which they do not produce will will not be appreciated and will not be good okay so hence my advice is if you know the brand of the item or the products very good well go ahead give it if you do not know then it will be advisable to or it will be wise to put up some unknown like xyz xxx Y, 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 A, B, C, etc. Now, the, la the next following paragraph. We request you to give 15% discount on the purchase of the sports equipment and a further 10% discount that is usually granted to the institutional buyers. It goes without saying that you will have to bear the mail and other expenses involved in the dispatch and delivery of equipment. Kindly ensure that all the items are in good condition and must reach us in proper condition by 25th July 20XX. Any item, as I had told you in the previous letter, I have added the sentence over here in this letter. Any item found damaged during the transit or on the receipt of the consignment, it will be returned to you at your cost. Payment will be made by check on the receipt of the sports item. Thanking you, yours sincerely. And then the name Monica and sports instructor. So that brings us to the end of our uh, session or the lecture on the formal letters, the four types of formal letters which we have in our syllabus for class 10 and students based on them, these are the assignments. All these questions, there are six questions I've given divided into two slides. All these six questions has been taken up from Oswald book. This is CBSE question bank by Oswald. So you can also refer to the book for more questions.